are doing and preparing PRP injection for distal biceps tendinopathy and we are using one of the numerous available on the market. Uh, this involves taking 15 ml of the blood which we're going to take and then spin it in this machine for five minutes. Okay, thanks. The PRP is basically, it's patient's own blood, you're not putting anything artificial. And you use the concentrate of the platelets. And the platelets has got what's called as the growth factors. And that's the theory behind using that uh, for tendinopathy. So what happens in tendinopathy, be it shoulder, elbow, ankle, is that the blood supply and the healing potential of that area is reduced. The PRP, that's what this is supposed to help it. Thank you. So the first step is to draw patient's own blood, depending on the volume required. So uh, five milliliters of patient's blood will get you about 1.5 to 2 milliliters of PRP. Now it's important that you draw on the correct part of the syringe. Here you can see it initially. We are pulling on the center most uh, plunger, and this is not the right one, as that's for the PRP. We need to pull on the second plunger, that one, and as soon as you do that, the blood starts to come in. And here I'm doing around the patient's distal biceps, so I require about three milliliters. So if we get anything more than 10, uh, we should get enough uh, PRP. So now we've taken enough amount of the blood and you can see it's about 12 milliliters of blood. Uh, this is now going to be capped off and put in the centrifuge machine which has got a tube like so and there is another tube on the other side for it to balance. You can put up to four tubes in, um, four samples in one go. Important thing is that if you're just doing one patient is to balance that, um, otherwise the tube could be flying inside the machine. This is centrifuged at the recommended speed and uh, time uh, which may differ according to company and here we have our sample after the centrifuge and this shows uh, the separation of the blood components at the bottom is the cells and at the top is the plasma it's quite important to keep it in steady hands otherwise it could mix put it on a firm table or a desk and now pushing on the central plunger will draw the um, plasma into the central syringe like so and you can take as little or as much uh, as you require uh, based on the amount generated now if you try and be too greedy you could get some blood in it which is not the end of the world but it will be mixed with some red cells which can cause uh, some localized uh, reaction Remember, this is patient's own tissue, so it has very little reaction. Uh, this can then be injected uh, under ultrasound guidance using aseptic technique, uh, which is what we did for this patient here. So now we have this patient who's ready for the injection. This is just a screening to locate the area. I've got the probe, clean it with the antiseptic solution. Now I've got my syringe loaded with the um, PRP injection and next I'm going to locate my needle uh, using the ultrasound probe to the area uh, where it needs to go. Supinating, rotating the forearm to get to the right position and you can see the needle going through uh, near his distal biceps. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any queries, please uh, do not hesitate to contact me.